Edward. I'm sorry for your loss. If I'd stayed in prison, they'd have taken him from me. He'd never be alive. Maybe this is God's way of saying I'm not fit to be a mother yet. Carrying on like I do. Cursing and drinking and fighting. You are a fighter, I. In prison, I heard stories of the infamous Anne Bonny and Mary Reed taking on the King's Navy together. Just the pair of you. It's all true. Anne would have won that day if Jack and his lads were passed out in the hold from drink. Everyone's gone, aren't they? Mary, Raccoon, Touch, all the rest. I miss them so, rough as they were. Do you fear that too? All empty inside. I do. Devil curse me. I do. I know my targets by sight well enough, but how will I find them? We have spies and informants in every city. Visit our viewers and the assassins there will guide you. That fixes Torres and Rogers. But Bartholomew Roberts won't be near any city. It might take months to find him. Or years. But you're a man of talent and quality, Captain Kenway. I believe you will find him. And if you're at a loss, do not be afraid to call on your quartermaster for aid. Quartermaster! What's our present course? Due west, Captain, if it's still Kingston we're sailing for. It is indeed, Miss Bonnie. Call it out. Weigh anchor and let fall the courses, lads. We're sailing for Jamaica. How does it feel to bark so loud? I've barked louder, and to men twice as rough. Handing bar at the old Avery, you mean? Among other places. And I sailed with Mary and... Captain Kenway. You have something for me? The present whereabouts of the Templar Woods Rogers. He is attending a small political function, so do it clean. The word is King George is calling Rogers back to London. Aye, not happy with his progress in Nassau. Still too many pirates roaming about from what I hear. <laughs> You'll need a disguise to fool the powderheads at this party. 
I suggest the visiting diplomat, Ruggiero Ferraro. He's been on our list for some time. Understood. Will you send this to England for me? Aye. The ship leaves tomorrow. Caroline Scott Kenway, Hawkins Lane, Bristol. Believe you can subdue the world is beyond me. Salve. Forgive the lateness of my arrival. I am Ruggerio Ferraro. Hi, Mr. Ferraro. Ladies and gentlemen. I brought those brutes in Nassau to heal, by God, and this is the thanks I get. Unbelievable. Damn right you do, Rogers. And if it's a character witness you need back home, I'd gladly send her a letter in support. to inquire any further. We separated almost five years ago, and both our lives have been the better for it. Forgive my curiosity, Governor. Perhaps I'll be more candid later, when the remainder of my reason has left. Word 
you're going round with this is that you're comfortable friends with the Spaniard, Loriano Torres. Is that true? It is, I am proud to say. Torres was a governor too, and like me, had a firm commitment to seeing justice done. Thank you for hosting my little send-offs, Stimpkin. I haven't been too rambunctious. A little free your speech today, but nothing to be hanged for. Why then, how's this? Soon, all the monarchies of the world will be obsolete, and when that day comes, men like Torres and myself will reveal ourselves as the architects of their undoing. Oh, Christ, Rogers, you're a bold one. You are Mr. Ferraro, I take Pardon. it. Pardon. I do adore you. Another engagement Such commands my attention. Such elegance and color. Any regrets, Captain Rogers? Any business left unfinished? Yes. That I paid for Nassar's restoration with my own money. Fully three-fourths of the improvements made to that... Bloody island, I funded by my private fortune. And if that doesn't spell out my commitment, then the king is a fool. Yes? Yes, what is it? He was a privateer once. How is it you lack so much respect for sailors only trying to make their way in this world? You couldn't possibly understand my motives, cretin! You have spent a whole lifetime dismantling everything that makes our civilization shine. But I do understand. I've seen the observatory, and I know its power. You'd use that device to spy and blackmail and sabotage. Yes. And yet all for a greater purpose. To ensure justice. To snuff out lies and to seek truth. There's no man on earth who needs that power. Yet you suffer the outlaw Roberts to use it. No. I'm taking it back. And if you tell me where he is, I'll stop the man. Here, at the edge of a blade, I find a friend in you at last. Principe, you mad bastard. Our best sources say Principe.
Done. Where now? Grab your kit and pack well. We're sailing for Africa. <laughs> 